gives it a different look. Pretty much it. Good morning, YouTube land. Well, since you're here watching YouTube instead of being outside and enjoying nature, we're going to do a real simple basic one for you today. Um, this is something anybody should be able to do at home in their driveway on a Saturday morning as such as today. It's 4th of July weekend. I'm home instead of at the shop. So I live right by the highway. I apologize for any of the road noise that you may catch. Hopefully it'll be somewhat quiet because it's still fairly early. But getting on with the show, what we're going to do today, like I said, is simple stuff. The mirror, these mirrors on my truck, they're good mirrors. You know, they have the little LED arrow. They're supposed to be heated. So the frost and all that melts off real nice, but... They suck for towing, and I've been, for work lately, I've been towing a lot of big trailers, um, or big enclosed work trailer, dump trailer, things of that nature, and I've found that it's extremely difficult with these crappy little pedestrian, civilian mirrors, whatever you want to call them, so guess what we're doing? That's right. We're going to put on some tow mirrors, the good stuff. And these also have the LEDs in them. They are heated. See the little heat symbol? Um, I went with a cheaper one off of the Jungle website. Uh, they did have, it did have really good reviews for these though. And so far, pretty solid unit, seems like. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to switch these out. Now, GM could have made this really easy. They could have. They didn't. So what we got to do, and it's pretty simple to start with, the scene stealer here. You trying to, trying to steal my scene, Lobo, huh, buddy? Yeah, they probably enjoy seeing you more than they enjoy seeing me. So, first thing to go is this guy right here. And it just pops off. Be careful with all this plastic stuff. It is brittle. It will break, especially if it's an older truck. This is a 2012, so it's 12 years old. But just very carefully pop that out. Now you see one of the pins got left behind in there because looks like, yep. See what happens? Plastic broke right there. And that probably was broke already. Which is fine. It's still got two clips to hold it. But that's one of the things you need to be aware of. Now, moving on. We've got a couple more of those little plastic things to go. We're going to go with the one behind the handle here next. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. All these, all the bolts are 10 millimeter. It makes it real easy. That one. Now we got another one by the door pull, and it connects on the sides. The clips are on the sides. So start with one side. And it pops out real easy. 
that was a little too easy, but what do you do? <laughs> and there's two 10 millimeter bolts right behind that. Now, here's where GM could have made this extremely easy. Because of that little triangle piece that comes out, this is where the mirrors are, are connected, attached to the truck. If you go in behind this foam here, pull that foam out of there, and you can see one, two, three nuts. Okay? Now, with a 10 millimeter red, uh, box end wrench, you could easily get those out, those ones there, right? Even though the door panel's in the way. Easy cheesy Japanese, right? Wrong. Got your wire here for all your power stuff because these are power mirrors. They got the blinker, the heater, all the fancy crap. Sorry about that. Put you back where you were. Something like that, anyway. So, got your power wire. Now, instead of just making a connector right up here where it would be easy to connect and disconnect if you wanted to do something like change your mirrors, they ran it all the way down and it plugs in on the bottom side of all your switches and stuff here. So, you have to take your door panel off. No, this is something you've never done. It's not really that hard. Like I say, a couple of 10 millimeter bolts. And there's a bunch of plastic, um, I don't know what they call them. And they're made of plastic. They're brittle and they will break. Guaranteed. So make sure you have some new ones to replace them with. Um, Gosh, I wish my brain was working right now because then I'd be able to tell you what those are called. I'm sure a bunch of you are laughing at me right now saying, it's called this, you dummy. Yeah, you're right. So anyway, on with the show. Ah, getting ahead of myself. I also got one more. Now, up on the lock here, this has to come off in order for the door panel to come off. So what you'll see is this little tab right here on the front side of that. And you gotta get in there with a little screwdriver, or a little poker or something like that. I'm just using a little flathead screwdriver. You get in there and you pull that thing out a little bit and that releases it's grab on the, the rod right there. Okay, see this? That's how that comes out. So you just pull it out a little bit. That's where you stick your screwdriver in to, to pop it out. So be careful with that too, don't bust that up. Or try prying it out this way because you're just gonna break stuff and then you're gonna be mad at yourself. <laughs> No, my door pockets are full of crap, but I don't care. If it lands on the ground, I just have to pick it up, right? Door panel clips, was that what I'm looking for? Door panel insert clips, something like that? You guys will figure it out. When you go to O'Reilly's, you just go, I can't remember what aisle it is, but they have all that stuff there. And you'll find those little inserts for the door cards to put them back into the doors themselves. So now here comes the fun part, breaking all those clips. Now this door, I know, has already been off because they did a repair here, I noticed. Uh, whoever owned this truck previously. Did a repair on this handle they probably were pulling on it and pulling on it and 
something happened and they replaced it with uh, <laughs> wood, actually. And they did a really nice job. Here, I'll actually show you guys real quick. See this wood right here? That's not supposed to be there. But it is, and it keeps... Ooh, that thing's pretty dirty. I'm going to have to clean this truck. <clears throat> so, yeah. They did a little modifying there, but they did a really good job. So now, breaking the plastic clips out. Like I said, I already knew this door was bent into, and something I noticed was once in a while the door panel pops out, probably because they did not replace those those little inserts. So they're broken or wore out, whatever the case may be. But it makes this door real, this, pan, this panel comes up real easy because of that. Now, I'm bringing you guys around again and I'll show you the clips I'm talking about. It's these guys here. See that little white clip there? That one right there. They're supposed to have little like ribs on them. So when they... Oh, see we got one stuck in the door right there that we're going to have to pull out. Pull that out and put it back in the door card. Oh, no, nope, that one's broken. It'll have to be replaced. So that's, that's what I was talking about with those plastic clips. Those always break. So might as well just, before you even get started, pick up a pack of those because you're going to need them. And the reason I say that is because, of course, my dumbass didn't do that. All right. Gonna have to do a little editing magic here because I gotta find out where my dog ran off to. Oh no! Good boy. Oh, he didn't go far. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, my, my big guy here, he just turned a year old, but he's a big boy. He listens good, though, and he likes to stay around the house, which I like. Makes it easy. All right. Look out, buddy. No. 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 But I have to watch him because he'll take, when I work on stuff, he'll take nuts, bolts, whatever he can get his mouth on. Oh, bud. Yeah. He can be a little butthead sometimes. Okay, so next we're going to pop out the wiring. It just runs behind this styrofoam right here. See this? It's got some tape connecting it to these little plastic holders, which I'm probably not going to reuse. I'm just going to tuck the wire in there where it needs to be and call it good. Okay, now we got to pop out this part. Start from the back side, give it a pop, and it comes right out real easy. Now I did disconnect the cable for the handle. You can leave that connected, but I it was already kind of loose, so I just disconnected it anyway. It's really easy to put back in. It's just this little piece slides into a plastic tab, but you got to put the ball in first and then slide that over into its little tab and it's home. Easy. So now we got to chase this one into here. up on the panel a little bit so I can get at that sucker. And it's just these two right here. 
You don't need a tool or anything. You just push on the tab and pull. Push on the tab, pull. Now that cable comes out. And it's just a matter of popping out the mirror. And like I said before too, everything is 10 millimeters. Now they did send new nuts with the mirror, with the new mirrors. But they don't have that great big washer and that washer is part of that nut and it spins in there and that's a good factory item to keep the one the nuts that they send are just a nut with a solid washer attached to it basically <laughs> so I want to use reuse the factory ones because they are better Okay, that's all there is for that. Yeah, the glue from the foam was giving me a hard time. See where it tore it clean off right there. Yeah, they glue that foam to the to the door there. And <laughs> it glued good. But we're done with this one now. The new mirror does come with new foam. We snake this back through the hole. I don't know if you heard me snake it back through the hole. Okay, we are in the hole. We can start with the top nut because gravity. Gravity does its gravity thing, so start from the top, then you don't got to fight gravity. Easy as that. Next two nuts. I wouldn't recommend using one of these unless you know what you're doing because you can over torque them and snap the bolts clean off of there and then you're going to be really really angry at yourself because you just broke your new mirrors so don't do what I do We can 
call that good. Oh boy, now comes the fun part. Guess I should have paid a little better attention when I pulled that up. things can get kind of interesting because there's a lot of little holes and stuff to match up there are guide pins and there's two big hooks on the bottom of the panel that's actually what's holding it up right now you got to make sure those get in their holes supposed to be now you got to kind of look down here match up line up all your clips and pins and saying you're just putting that right back on with them old broken pins yes I am because like I said I was a dumbass and forgot to pick up new ones so I will have to do this again but as you can see it's not that hard That's where it needs to be. Some of those clips are steel, so it does hold. And when I put the 10 millimeter bolts back in, that's what holds the door pole, and it also helps hold the panel. So I'm not terribly concerned about getting the new pins for the door panel right away, or putting it back together for now. The way it is, I know what's wrong with it, and I'm okay with it. And at some point, yes, I will fix it. Now, those 
those are all popped back in. <laughs> you got to kind of pull the handle out to get a little better shot at that one. Nothing to it. Put this puppy back on. Push your little pin back in. Make sure it works. Good to go. Yep, all that's good to go. Oh, getting ahead of myself again. A lot easier to do that foam without this little part in the way, but really not that bad. Okay, and we'll pop this one back in. That one, and last but not least. All right. And it was basic tools that I used for that. There is a door panel tool that you can get at O'Reilly, and that gets in there behind them pins and helps pop them, them little plastic pins out. They usually break anyway, just saying. I do have that tool, but I don't have it with me, obviously, because I'm home and not at the shop. But I just used a little little cat's paw flat bar and little straight screwdriver is all you need. And like I said, 10, mm, 10 millimeter. Mm, 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 mm. Ow comes the reward. Oh yeah. Like it already. Maybe I can actually see where I'm going now. So we're gonna hop in here. bottom one is a manual adjust. That's pretty good right there. And we got power mirrors, so now we're going to, yep, power mirror works good. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. And I've got a small narrow trailer on the truck right now that I'm going to be hauling over to the shop and those are so hard to see like my buddy's little boat that we tow around and go fishing with yeah it's it's hard to see that thing when you're backing up so I kind of have to go side to side so I can see it where it's at otherwise <laughs> I don't know where it is so hopefully now this will solve that problem make sure that the blinker works Uh, and I had that problem with the other mirror, so that must be something not in the mirror. I was hoping the, the new mirror would fix that, but oh well. It's just a little LED turn signal thing. That's not necessarily life and death for me, so... Yeah. Now I could have got the fancy ones that were chrome like my stock ones were with the little chrome cover and 
a blinking LED on this side, but I thought, why? You know, it's just a work truck. These are the little plastic deals they put on the back of the the mounting posts, the bolts there for the mirror to protect it. You got to take them off before you put the nuts on. I was going to tell you that, and I kind of went right past it. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is going to work out great. We'll see how it looks on the truck now. Definitely gives it a different look. I like it. I'm going to feel a lot better about towing stuff now. Especially the big work trailers. Lift up. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. If you watched all the way through, give a like. Leave a comment, a nice comment. Um, if you want to, subscribe. You know, help a guy out. Share this with your friends. If you know you know somebody that's thinking about putting tow mirrors on their truck and not sure how to go about it or whatever the case may be, like I said, this is a kind of a more of a beginner video. But I appreciate you watching. And uh, until I see you next time, keep it between the ditches.